In this lesson, we will learn about subdivision surfaces. When building 3D models, there are three main types of geometry that we can use. NURB surfaces allow us to get very smooth shapes, but can sometimes be more difficult to use. Polygon geometry allows us to create very complex shapes, but high resolutions are actually required to get smooth results. So in order to get the smooth shapes associated with NURB surfaces, combined with the flexibility of polygons, we will use subdivision surfaces. Subdivision surfaces are closely associated with polygonal geometry. To create a subdivision, or sub-D surface, a polygon object is progressively smoothed using a special algorithm, which can differ slightly based on the software that you're using. You can see that this object gets smoother and smoother as more and more polygons are added and the points are averaged out. In most cases, we can still manipulate the original polygon cage while viewing the resulting surface. While we can use our polygon modeling tools to modify the surface's polygon cage, we can also use several sub-D specific techniques to create models. Because of the progressive refinement of the subdivision surface, we can access finer and finer levels of the surface in order to actually add the detail. For instance, here at subdivision level 0, which is the lowest level, we can only manipulate the points from a very basic shape or cage. If we want to add detail in a certain area, however, we can refine that level and manipulate the new vertices that were added. We can continue to add detail this way at higher and higher levels. With all of the detail added, we can still travel back to any level to change any of the object's shape. Subdivision surfaces also provide the ability to crease edges. We can simply select any of the object's edges and we can add a partial crease or a full crease to create custom shapes without having any more resolution. Subdivision surfaces are one of the most popular types of geometry. They can be used to build anything from realistic cars to complex characters. So make sure to incorporate them into your workflow.